In this video, we'll show you how to install an additional plugin to your website. This plugin happens to be a social bookmarking plugin, so this video can also serve the purposes of showing you how to install social bookmarking into all of your articles and whatnot. It's a pretty robust plugin. So we're going to go up to Extensions and then go to Install. And we're going to go browse for the package. We've already downloaded it. Uh, it is a plugin. So again, Joomla 1.5 plugins have uh, the name of the files begin with PLG underscore in the name of the plugin. As you can see, the, as mentioned before, the modules start with mod and the components start with com. So we know this is a plugin. So we select it and hit open and then hit uh, upload file and install. And it's a free extension from uh, this website here. We picked it up from the uh, Joomla. Um, uh, Joomla.org website under the social bookmarking tab. So went and downloaded that real quickly. Uh, so we grabbed it. We've installed it now. Now we're going to go uh, configure it. Go to extensions. Go to plugin manager. And here is our plugin. We can tell that it's not enabled. So we're going to enable the plugin. Now the uh, ABV, the social bookmarking plugin, is enabled. We can click on the plugin itself. And now we have some parameters that we can set. Some change we can do we can change the name of it if we if we want to just a social bookmarking plugin or whatever we want we can tell it uh, do we want it to show on front page articles the reason that they do this is because sometimes these as you'll notice let's let's just let's not change anything and let's go look at it real quick we'll, we'll save these changes uh, and then we'll go preview uh, our home page um, with the plugin in place so the reason they ask you as to whether or not you want it to show on your home your home page is because it can affect the layout and the way that your home page looks. So as you can see, now we have a share button underneath every uh, title uh, article, which we don't want it in there. We don't like the way that that looks. So we're going to go back to the page. We're going to go click on the uh, social bookmarking plugin. And we're going to say, you know what? Don't show it on the home page. Uh, don't show it in section view. And don't show it in category view because we only want it to show it uh, when people are viewing the actual articles. You can tell it to, if you want to show it in section view, you can say show it in section view, but only show it in these specific sections. Again, back to those section IDs uh, that we talked about in a, a previous video. Uh, in addition to that, you can do category IDs or only show it on articles in this that fall into this section or category and have that category ID. So uh, let's go ahead and leave those as no. Uh, we want the we want to, sh to show it uh, after the content, and we'll go ahead and use uh, the Add This. If you're not familiar with Add This, go to addthis.com, and you'll see that there's a uh, you, you can uh, display any sort of different types of social bookmarking, uh, and you can choose which one you want to use and whatnot. Um, we can change the widget text. We can change the button, the custom button. Uh, we can change a handful of things here. So there's really a lot. You can, this is a pretty powerful, um, powerful tool. So go ahead and read these tool tips. We've installed the plugin now. We're not going to change anything. Let's say, for instance, and we just hit save. We made a handful of places where we didn't want it to publish. Now let's go back to our home page. We're going to hit F5. That'll refresh the page. Now we see that it's gone. Our layout's kind of back to normal. Uh, let's go click a read more link, and we should see a share this button down at the bottom of the page. So that's a little bit better layout. We, we like that better. Um, again, this is a, uh, we just installed a real simple social bookmarking uh, component, uh, or plug-in rather, uh, into Joomla, and now we have complete and functional social bookmarking capabilities throughout our site. So pretty powerful stuff, and I hope that was helpful.